Waypoints. Waypoints will cover all aspects of navigation for the overland traveler. Navigation is the act or practicing of navigating, the method of determining position, course, and distance traveled. Okay, this week we go over how to find those trails and back roads on our overland journeys. With all the planning we've been discussing, which is a good thing, you may be like me and have a desire to discover new trails along the way. How do you go about it? Well, there's enough GPS devices and mapping apps out there that today that is re relatively easy to explore. I still marvel at Google Maps and the amount of information you can glean there. But my top, top recommendation still remains what it's always been. Ask somebody. Stop in a visitor center, a ranger station. Don't just grab a brochure and look at a display. Walk up to someone. Tell them what you're about. And do they have any recommendations? When you're in town stocking up, be polite and ask about the surrounding area. Hopefully, they'll tell you one of their personal favorites which is usually not in a brochure and no, amount, and no amount of research would have told you about it. I've interrogated park rangers I encounter on the trail. I've done it when they're pumping gas in town. I see a local with a rig that looks like it sees trail time. I get to ask them questions. Last year, I was passing through South Dakota and it was challenging to find any trails of any decent length. I complimented a lady on her rig at a gas station, and she made it clear that she owns it and she uses it. I told her about the journey I was on and what I was looking for. She suggested using the local farm roads that aren't on a map. She had me follow her, and she pointed me to where to enter and waved goodbye. I was able to take, take these long farm roads through sunflower fields along dirt roads for long distances across the state. There's no way without a local you would ever know this road exists. So talk to people. Now, I'm going to recommend Google Maps. This has changed my planning in so many ways beyond just finding a trail. The satellite imagery, it allows me to look at areas and see the trails and see if they actually exist. The amount of pertinent information at my fingertips is, is just is still amazing to me. And if you have a guide GPS subscri subscription, you can access Google Maps through guide GPS. Start not collecting locations when you hear about them. Start notating coordinates. They'll collect over time. And when you start planning an adventure, most of the info you need is already in front of you. Many times the trails I discover and decide to try are figured out as I approach the area. So part of finding or discovering trails is having detailed mapping information at your fingertips as you go along your journey. To make sure that happens, I use a dedicated GPS unit as well as a dedicated tablet that has all my maps, trails, routes, campsites, and anything of any note on it. I've downloaded Google Maps, Gaia GPS, including all the layers and several other mapping apps for the whole U.S. and Canada. And yes, it takes forever to do that. If you decide to use a dedicated tablet and you haven't purchased one yet, I recommend going with an Android. You can purchase the most powerful tablet you can afford and choose the smallest capacity storage and then add an SD card. With Apple, it has fixed storage, so you're forced to go with their most expensive option, so that may be a huge obstacle for some. I'm already stuck in the Apple ecosystem, so I had to look at it as a long-term investment in something I do regularly, and it's, it's been worth it to me. Also, if you get a tablet, I recommend getting one with cell service. It'll give you so many more options and capabilities if you do. This is the tool that helps me discover on the road, and the screen is big enough to see, to make decisions, and not drive off the trail. Many times I've been on my planned route, but decided on going a completely different route because of the information I could pull up readily and see instantly. So a tablet with good mapping software is my second biggest recommendation for finding those unique trails and back roads as you go along your overland journey. You just need to pick a path amongst the waypoints. 
Next week, we'll get in depth on how to use Guide GPS and another app called Onyx Off-Road in your planning and as well as along your journey.